more StarCraft 2 coming soon. Uh, we're not even going to bother to get the War Council or Solar Core, it doesn't matter, because in, uh, we don't get any of that shit in this mission. I know not what I shall find below, but I know I must go alone. You are in command of the Spear of Adun now. Until you return, Artemis. I have come seeking the Zelnog. The Shrines call this place the Temple of Unification. The Zelnaga are somewhere within. So far, all I've encountered are hybrid. I've been fighting them for days. Progress has been... difficult. The prophecies foretell of two ascended races, working together to seek out the Halls of Revelation within the Temple. Only with both present will the Shrines reveal the means to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. I've never cared much for prophecy. And yet, despite our history, here we stand, together. Perhaps you should start. Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to this mission. Speak. I, I like how I have no hotkey for her. Let us make for the Shrine. Change is upon us. It doesn't matter because we can just you hit tab to switch between them and I'm gonna just kind of show you the abilities just because they're a little bit on them Well, they're interesting, but sort of complicated and you won't know what the fuck I'm doing and what's going on because the game doesn't explain it So uh, I'm, I have our tennis selected right now. He's got lightning dash which you kind of You charge forward you do a hundred damage and you stun Enemies uh, for two seconds and it's like an aoe thing. It would appear like this so it's a stuns and does 100 damage in an AoE. Uh, Resurgence. Uh, he ga great, gains some vulnerability for 3 seconds upon taking lethal damage. Preventing life. So this is kind of like uh, an extra life for him. 
Uh, it has a cooldown of uh, 60 seconds, and it also releases a large blast that knocks back enemies and deals 100 damage to all nearby enemies. Ironically, that's actually the thing that he was he used it apparently in the cutscene uh, in the temple or something. So I guess he actually died there, so <laughs> whatever. Um, he also has an uh, Astral Wind, uh, cooldown 15 seconds, heals our tennis and all nearby friendly units for 300 life and 200 shields. And then he's got Focus of Will, Energy... Regeneration increased by 300%, regenerates one life per second. You have All right. My attention. Here we have Kerrigan. Um, every attack she does increases her attack speed by 15%. Can stack up to 75% increased attack speed. I don't know how fast it goes down, but whatever. It doesn't say. Uh, basically, the more she attacks, the, fat, the better she'll be. Um, kinetic Blast, uh, 300 damage to uh, uh, 300 damage from long range, basically, to a unit or structure. Uh, very useful. So it's basically your sniping. Chain reaction is you uh, deal more damage to your normal target, and then it just kind of like chain lightning to seventy-five. De uh, sorry, to twenty-five damage up to four additional targets, and spawn bane links, uh, which is a thirty-second cooldown. They they gain. Uh, funny thing is, this is Mexican jumping bane links, so it's pretty good. Um, so. Artanis is essentially your tank slash healer slash. That's well. That's pretty much what he does. Kerrigan's DPS. I think her damage is more. Yeah, her damage is more. Except his Twilight Blades are about the same. I don't know. Kerrigan is DPS. Let's just go with that. Where it literally doesn't matter because he comes back to life. So when you see him getting low, it literally doesn't matter. Unless it's on cooldown. So the constructs hold the keys. Good to know. Let us proceed. With all these devices emit solar energy. We should gather them. Our knowledge is your heritage. Morgan Freeman, is that you? Look out! Hybrid! No time. You also stun the hybrid, weirdly enough. One of the few things in the game that actually stuns hybrid. So when he's a little bit low, you can use it. So you can use his healing just so he doesn't have to use his cooldown on his uh, resurgence just yet. Another construct. We'll have to destroy it to open the doorway. Oh, Kerrigan's almost dead. I serve my people. Your queen. A king is still missing. There is a powerful energy across this chasm. Kerrigan, remain here. I must investigate this. And there's a weird hybrid that's just gonna be beside be hitting me, but Kerrigan can tank it. Alright, he's gonna just lose his life and then explode into whatever it is. Alright. Maybe we should. Oh, she handled it. Easiest game of my life. Our path is clear. The future is ours. Very easy. You just micro two heroes. Fate is with us. The shrine still functions. Shortly. 
friends of yours. Not quite. It appears Amon's forces have found a way into the temple. We must slay them all. I think I'm starting to like you, Artanis. Arak and Ryok. Make it quick. We search You have my attention. I had to snap. I like sh slapping shuttles and things like that. How are they getting in here? They have no warp field or whatever the fuck they do. They have no warp field or whatever. I thought they needed that. Oh, dude, they're actually doing micro. Terrace. Hey, he's gonna do his little bash thing. There you go. You see how adorable that was when the, uh, what was it, the, uh, the Colossus got knocked back? It, like, those little legs in the air. Like, oh no, I almost felt sorry for it, but not really. Fuck him. Zelnaga were the first, born within the void. Their sacred purpose was to cultivate life and perpetuate the infinite cycle. At a new universe's creation, they take a physical form. If destroyed, they are thrust back into the void. All of this time, they have waited for us to assemble the keystone. And find our way here. Amon indwells my people, possessing them through the Kala. But he has no physical form. If he were separated from the Templar, he could be forced back into the void. Come on, Artanis. We've still got a long way to go. Change is upon us. Our path is clear. I it seems you were correct. Well then, shall we? No time to I'm targeting the warp prison so I don't have to kill anything. I just found that the easiest way of handling this. He just stabbed them with Kerrigan's abilities and shit like that. The passage has caved in. We must find another way forward. By the way, you've noticed that we've we've entered into a new area. Every new area has the Zeldaga devices, so just telling you that. I like them to kinda kill it, and then I just kinda snipe their little shuttles. And there you go. Now they have no reinforcements. So just let just let them fight. There's there's nothing no reason that we need to fight them. Um, we can just snap that guy. I snap that guy. Yeah, I did. I totally did. Uh, actually, let's uh bring this thing over there. I just want to make some. Okay. There we took out that one. He's gonna get upset. Do that. We're just gonna kite them. There's no time limit right now, no so we're okay. Oh, looks like both of them were dealt with. Never mind. That's the last Boldly. guy. What fools you are to attack me! I find that the medevacs you can't really do anything about. You can't snipe them. The warp prism is you can because at least there's a timer answers. for how long they, it takes for them to warp in, you know. Boldly. This passage has caved in as well. Wait. Hybrid. No, in the, in the giant cutscene that we had, we had problems with just one hybrid. But now we're kind of just taking them out as if they're nothing. Also, didn't Kerrigan have a leap in, like, the last game? What happened to that? Oh. 
explains. If you change, we shall prevail. Together, we are... Our heritage is your future. Go away, Morgan Freeman. It's not actually Morgan Freeman. They're fighting another construct. You can just kind of let them deal with it. More about not killing one of the one of the sides too fast. There can be no doubt. The Taldarima breaching into the Hall of Revelation. Ready your blades, Templar. He's gonna get wounded. Come back to life. There you go. As if you get an extra life, then it's 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 pretty great. Looks like we've earned a breather. You're up, Artanis. The shrines look like they're covered with pictograms. How do you know what they say? Communing with the shrine is more than reading carvings. Each atom of the stone has been placed with meaning, purpose. It was here, from Alnar, that the Zelnaga began to seed the universe with life. They created us. Just as they gave life to a numberless assembly of races in other universes. Every time, they observe and identify the potential of their offspring. Never interfering. The infinite cycle will always be the same. Two races are destined to emerge. One, pure of essence. An indomitable spirit capable of great change. And one pure of form, a being capable of vast psionic potential, able to house the essence of a Zelnaga. Purity of essence and form, the Zerg and the Protoss. But if the Zelnaga do not interfere, then it was Amon who uplifted my people. All we thought was the Zelnaga was a lie. Come on, Artanis. We're not far from having some answers. Yeah, what are the Terrans, though? Just random, I guess. I believe this must be the final hall. Wait. The doors are open. The constructs destroyed. The shrine is under attack. This can only be the work of me. And now we're actually timed. We have a lot of time, trust me. Let's get to that shrine. Explain. Alright, he's gonna lose a life here. Not a big deal. This door is impassable. We must find a way around. By the way, first time I did this. First time I tried this, I did wasn't aware there was a timer. I wasn't paying attention. But I had way more than enough time, so don't even worry about it.
These people are maniacs. Oh, uh, use another one of these little things here. Whatever, it's fine. Look, we got two minutes, guys. An entire two minutes. Boldly. There can be there is precious time left. We must reach the shrine. Your queen listen. Oh god. Can I get through this? Actually, does it even matter? Just going beside it. Killed everything for me. Don't worry, we got a minute and a half to reach a chamber that's just above there. But we're gonna get this. Our future is as one in the void. Alright, this one could be a bit hard. The hardest part of this entire thing. We start with Banelings. Uh, did I make the bailings? No, I didn't. Okay, wait, wait, we gotta fuck. Okay, this may this we may have lost. I've come this far. Just because I know that uh yeah, let's just take up that thing and these things do a lot more damage than you think. Yes. Uh let's just heal. Yeah, you see the big ass guy comes for us? Not fucking good. Yeah, because he has no regeneration right now. But that's okay, I'm cutting them all. I'm doing absolutely perfect micro. For fun. I'm gonna join MLG. It's done. Do your shrine thing, Artanis. These gods of yours have a lot to answer for. I've come this far. Civilizations grew, fell, and formed again. They will awaken when the two destined races arrive. Then, the elders among them will give their lives to bestow their essence. And pure of form and pure of essence will be reborn as Zelnaga, shepherds of the infinite cycle.
so easily broken, Amon. The firstborn shall fear you no longer! Cool cutscenes. Yeah, we've done all of this, so. Yeah, we're good to go. Matriarch, there is a massive output of void energy spiking from the temple below. Target the epicenter. <laughs> us fools yes but that is irrelevant what is relevant is that amon has opened the gateway to the void dark energies pour from within and they will burn through your precious leader and any who oppose amon i can guide you to artanas before this fate befalls him if we are bold we can stop the dark god's assault am i to believe that the moment you're released your blade will not be in my back you waste time. Lower your blades. I am Alarak, first descendant of the Taldarim. Amon has betrayed my people. Retribution will be claimed for this, and if your hierarch survives, he will aid in it. Make your decision. Take us to our tennis. Most wise. I have brought an additional defensive ability online, Matriarch. Please visit the solar core to configure it. Oh man, we got Q now. And uh, Karax. Matriarch, the Keystone has begun absorbing void energies at an unprecedented rate. Then this Taldarim speaks the truth. Void energies flood from the temple. With each passing moment, the threat grows. I do not trust him, but all data points to the scenario he describes. A gateway to the void has been opened. Is there any way to pinpoint Artanis? No. The energies are making us virtually blind. We must put our faith in this Taldarim. It pains me to do so. Alright, we got some Solarite. Alright, so these cost a little bit more. Uh, they're like 50 each to eventually 100. Let's just deallocate this. So we have um, Mass Recall. Instantly teleports all friendly units to target area uh, in, within the target area to primary nexus. And protects them with a barrier that absorbs up to 200 damage that lasts for 20 seconds. Uh, this one is an, a, another barrier that for 20 seconds, but that lasts for... But that you can just do on anything. It just grants it to everyone rather than it being something you have to recall back to your nexus. Um, and I'm a fan of that. I mean, this one isn't great. It's more of a defensive version of this one. This one is more of an offensive version. And you can't, like, protect your buildings either. Then we have Deploy Phoenix. Uh, you deploy Phoenix onto the battlefield and... Uh, he does 200 damage upon impact. He, feel, uh, he casts his own Whirlwind, Thunderous Charge, and, and Shield Capacitors. Phoenix will leave the battlefield after 30 seconds. I don't know. It's, once again, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, you're spending 50 for this and then another 50 for that one. Just do whatever you desire. I mean, it truly does not matter, I think. I would totally do Phoenix if I had more Solar right though. Totally do more Phoenix. I don't use Phoenix a lot, but whatever, just for fun. 
But um, yeah, it's, this is we're just gonna go with the shield overcharger. I like that one a bit better because that one's more like everything rather than just uh, th units within a certain radius. So that's how we're going to go with that. And we have War Council stuff. The fuck is wrong with Rohana? Oh, no, wait, it's still Amon. Oh, it's just the same cutscene, really? Okay, that's, that's lame. I want to talk to Amon. This Taldarim has brought warriors with him. Perhaps there is a benefit to his presence after all. No, but he's stream cheating. He's looking at fucking her eyes and he'll know exactly what we have. So we just got blood hunters, which have void stasis. It uh, disables enemy units and structures for 10 seconds and you can't attack it but at the same time uh it doesn't it doesn't work so you can just kind of like run through stuff i guess i don't know i'm just gonna stay with death recall i mean when do i really use the the dark templar i don't know why do they look like this now they used to look different in starcraft uh one whatever i don't know like weird now that's not, is that all you brought though that's seriously all you brought yeah, we just had the shitty ass uh, purifier adepts, and that's it. Wow, we're so disappointed. Let's talk to Alaric. How, how's it going, bro? I did not invade your ship to make idle chatter. You must be new to <laughs> Blizzard games. Anyways, uh, that's all the time we got for today, guys. Hope you're enjoying. Take care. Goodbye.